This is Marvel's secret invasion we begin with our favorite CIA guy Everett Ross who's getting a report from an agent about a crazy conspiracy theory of shapeshifting aliens I don't know buddy that sounds pretty far-fetched but turns out Agent Ross is one of them how many people have been replaced by scrolls remember it wasn't Captain Marvel back in the 90s when a young Nick Fury first encountered the shapeshifting scrolls but they turned out to be good aliens who are refugees just trying to live peacefully and Fury befriended them in fact ever since the end credits of Spider-Man Far From Home Nick Fury has been working with them on a space station that we now know is called Saber, but with the secret invasion going on now Nick Fury comes back to Earth he meets up with his best human friend Agent Maria Hill and his best alien friend the scroll leader Talos now Fury had promised he would help find the scrolls another planet to live on but Talos breaks the bad news of the scrolls are Sick awaiting they voted him out and voted in a new leader Gravik whose plan is to kill all humans and take Earth as their home apparently scrolls are immune to radiation so Gravik's plan is to impersonate humans and incite nuclear war so humans will extinct themselves and the scrolls can in peace in the nuclear wasteland indeed Gravik's living at a radioactive power plant in Russia where he's got like a bunch of scrolls living happily. But also mostly there are terrorist organization that's body snatching humans and then keeping them in their brain pods one of his top lieutenants is a young woman oh snap it's Khaleesi she's transporting a bomb when Talos catches up to her but turns out this is Talos daughter Gaia she's a true believer in Gravik's cause until her dad reveals it was Gravik who killed her mother so now she realizes she's been working for the bad guy she helps them try to stop the bomb plot but it's hard to trail Gravik when he's a shapeshifter and by the time Fury Catches up to him it's too late boom blows up the Russian festival and on the way out he shifts into fury and shoots Maria Hill yes this is not to fake out ancient Maria Hill dies the scrolls framed the Americans so it's going to start World War 3 but luckily one of the advisors to the president is our friend the war machine Colonel James Rhodes Furies like hey man scroll secret invasion but Rhodes like I don't know bud that sounds pretty far fetched and with the video footage that fury there and shot Maria Hill, it's like sorry man you're disavowed you're fired so Fury goes home to to his nice little house, but there's a scroll in the kitchen cooking dinner oh snap they're married Nick Fury has a secret scroll wife yet, yeah, since the 90s Nick Fury has been working with Talos in a small group of scrolls as his own personal secret shapeshifting spy group one of them was this girl woman Vara, and you know how it goes they fell in love. But their marriage isn't in a great place right? There and shot Maria Hill, it's like sorry man you're disavowed you're fired so Fury goes home to to his nice little house, but there's a scroll in the kitchen cooking dinner oh snap they're married Nick Fury has a secret scroll wife yet, yeah, since the 90s Nick Fury has been working with Talos in a small group of scrolls as his own personal secret shapeshifting spy group one of them was this girl woman Vara, and you know how it goes they fell in love. But their marriage isn't in a great place right now because she thought he was dead for five years when he disappeared in the snap and as soon as he came back he ran off to a space station so she's feeling a bit abandoned and now she gets a visit from Rhodey who turns out has been replaced by a scroll graphic monster to kill Fury and so they have a tense breakfast Mr. and Mrs. Smith both shoot each other but yeah they both missed on purpose so that's a good sign they're still in love so Fury's gotta stop. Graphics next plan to have the British shoot down a plane Gaia still undercover goes into this guy's brain to get his abort password and they stop it just in time, but Graphics suspected he had a traitor now he knows it's her and shoots her, but earlier she discovered Graphics secret project where he's got the DNA of a bunch of super people because scrolls are so adaptable they could take these powers. And Graphic wants to make himself a super scroll so guys in there and infused herself with the extremists remember from Iron Man 3 that yes gives you healing powers and she's all right so is the president's going for peace talks graphic scrolls are posing as Russians and try to assassinate the president it's up to Fury and Talos to save the president but Otelus gets shot which makes him start turn and scroll Fury tells everyone he's on their side and they get the president out of there but now the guy helping Talos was graphic in disguise and he finishes the job and again it's not to Fake out Talos dies with the scroll secret out of the bag fake Rhodey has to shift gears and tell the president the scrolls are working with the Russians so we gotta bomb him Fury figures out to this road he's an imposter but he can't really do much about it at the moment so Fury gets help from his British spy friend Sonia Fallsworth she's a hilarious character who's been hunting scrolls herself and being very British. And quippy now graphic only has some super DNA mostly he uses the Groot arm. 
What he really wants is the harvest the secret blood samples that Fury took after the battle in Endgame which includes just every super person in the MCU so Fury suits up for the final battle he pulls his trench coat out of one locker then his eye patch out of another then a single pistol out of another I don't want to tell him his business but it seems like those could have all fit in one so Fury busted into graphics compound. Although remember it's irradiated so he's dying but fear he's like. Hey, I brought you the harvest, if I give you this will you go conquer some other planet and leave Earth alone that's kind of a weird plan especially because Graphic can just take the powers and conquer Earth anyway he fires it up with Fury still in there because he's not to scroll it wouldn't work on him and now buff Graphic is Captain America going in to kill Fury but oh what's this ya Fury did get the powers too. Because that's not the real Fury surprise it's Gaia now it's time for the super. Scroll fight and all they both got the powers of all the Avengers as they can only like turn their arms one at a time I guess to use each power so it's a big punch out with lots of Hulk arms but they both got Captain Marvel powers which are maybe the strongest of all and lets them fly and in the end it's Gaia who gets Gravik and Blam kills King Piccolo with the Kamehameha she rescues all the humans from the brain pods including Agent Ross and the real Rhodey who apparently has been down there. For a while very meanwhile has spent this whole time I'm trying to convince the president that this road is a scroll finally though he just shoots him which ya yeah would have been the fastest way to prove it so the president stops the nuclear launch and the day is saved except this ends up causing more problems because the president missed the distinction between the good scrolls and bad scrolls he just tells everyone the scrolls are invading. And they're all evil this sets off a wave of violence. As people just start shooting anyone they think might be a scroll Sonia Fallsworth at least understands there are good scrolls and she teams up with Gaia to figure stuff out in fact they find another secret brain pod lair but we don't get explained uh who's this is as for Nick Fury he feels his job is done here so he's going back to space but this time his wife Vara is gonna come with and they fly off to live happily ever after so that's where secret invasion comes to an end.